You need to slow it down. I'm gonna play death match. This advice is terrible. Did you see the problem here? There's just one reason your aim is inconsistent. And by the end of this video, you will have all the tools you need to fix it. I'll give Wuhujin credit. He does have a lot of very helpful tips. However, this tip for aiming is gonna destroy your aim. Oh, nice. Okay. Damn. So, so what the keep going. Slowing down does nothing to fix your bad technique. This is because speed isn't the problem. Many people nowadays have enough mouse control to at the very least get close to the target quickly. By slowing down your aim, you are taking away the only aspect of your aim that you have developed to a high level, your speed. The real problem here is obvious if you take a closer look. Target confirmation. Let's watch the clip again. Not many people know this, but you should be confirming you are on target each time before shooting. If you're aiming at a moving target, this means tracking for a millisecond until you can properly identify your on target. Another way of doing this is by aiming in front of the target so you can recognize when they cross into your crosshair. Once you confirm they are in your crosshair, you click. It's honestly pretty simple and over time, you will get quicker at this process. Why is this so important? It's primarily because of first bullet accuracy. If you land the first shot, the chances of you winning the fight increase by a lot. However, it's also a much better strategy to confirm you're on target because it builds better habits than slowing down your aim. During gunfights, it's good to be quick. By going slow, you will often die before getting a clear shot off. If you consistently confirm you're on target before shooting, a few things happen. Your gunfights become more consistent, your aiming habits naturally become better, this is because over time, you will automatically aim in ways that make target confirmation easier. And overall, you will become a more confident aimer. I mean, how could you not? By confirming you're on target, you can consistently hit the shots you're expecting yourself to hit, and so your confidence will slowly increase. Personally, I enjoy aiming in this way because the game feels more fun. I feel more in control of whether or not I'm landing my shots. As for training this skill, I say the same as always. It's important to start in the range or in an aim trainer to get the fundamentals down. Then play some deathmatch directly after to get a feel for it in-game. If you struggle at first, that's okay. The better your mouse control is, the better you will naturally be at this because you will be able to get your crosshair to the target faster and also be able to keep it there longer and also more consistently. So this is where aim training becomes super beneficial. You can not only improve your mouse control in aim trainers, but by also focusing on target confirmation while aim training, it will become easier in Valorant as well. Overall, if your aim feels inconsistent, and it has been for a while, I definitely recommend working on target confirmations because for me, it was a total game changer.